Hello, my name is Leonardo and I'm from Maximo Con. On today's video, I'm gonna show you how to create job plans and add it to a work order, right? In order to do that, we need to go to the planning module and the job plans application. I'm gonna go directly to the matter and insert a new job plan. Job plan truck underscore zero zero two. I have another one. General main maintenance template for FH trucks, right? For Volvo FH trucks. Organization Eagle North America. This means that only users that belongs to this organization will be able to select and use this job plan. My status is draft, but before that, I need to talk to you about revisions. This is a record that is subject to revision. Therefore, when I create my job plan, the revision is zero, which is my initial revision. And when I save and activate it, this will be the official job plan to be used in work orders. If I need to change it, let's say I need to add or remove tasks, I need to revise my job plan, which will create the revision number one. And for future work orders, the revision number one will be the official one. Meanwhile, the revision zero will not be used in new records. However, it will still be valid for existing work orders, okay? Now, proceeding here, I have a few templates that I can use. I'm just going to use maintenance, which is the purpose of this video here. I can fill some information here that will be visible in the work order. For example, the work order priority for this job plan, it will always be three for this particular record. I, can, I could um, select the responsible, for example, the supervisor, which will be max admin, my current user. I can add my tests here. Let's say test 10 um, engine inspection, which will have the duration of four hours. The sequence will be one, the first test to be executed. I can also add um, oil change, uh, sequence two, engine cleaning, uh, sequence three, four hours each, which will consist in a total of 12 hours of duration. Okay, let me save my record. Now that I have all my tasks, I need to plan my labor, which in this case will be only crafts. Okay, Mac. Uh, just a mechanic for test 10, 4 hours. I can also use the same craft for test 20, which will have the 4 hours. We have a height and the line coast as well, which will be added to the work order costs in the future. Another mech here for test 3. Let's say that we want 3 mech mechanics it can be the same person, it can be different persons, but I have only the craft here and not specific labor, okay? Materials. Let me assign a material to task 20, which will be like um, any oil here that I have in my Max Demo database. Um, let's say that um, oil change kit for diesel engines one if i want to issue this item from the storeroom i need to fill the storeroom here i have it in atlanta but i'm not going to use the storeroom i want to set this as direct issue that means that i need to purchase this oil kit oil change kit when i perform my maintenance in the work order i will create a pr po receipt and this item will be issued against the work order. It will not go through the storeroom, okay? That's the 
uh, objective of, of this flag here, the direct issue flag. I'm not going to add services or tools. This is enough for our job plan. I need to activate it, of course, otherwise I cannot use it. But before, let me select a work asset. These are the assets that I can use for this job plan, which in this case is my Volvo FH600. I can use this job plan in other assets. You see in the work order how this works, okay? Now let's just change the status here to active so we can use. My revision zero is active now. I can use this job plan. Let's go to the work order tracking application and create a new record here. The first thing that I need to do is to put a description general maintenance for Volvo. Volvo, oh sorry, Volvo FH truck, okay? The asset, let's find our truck here, the same way that I did before, Volvo FH 600 truck. And now I can select my job plan, I can paste it here, but I wanna show you the select value. We can see two job plans as default because I have work assets, which is this Volvo FH 600 truck in the related job plans. But if I untick this flag here, show the job plans for the work orders asset and location only, I can see all the records, but I wanna find my new job plan, which I'm gonna select now. My revision is zero. I have here the priority coming from my job plan before I save, I have my three tasks, my three crafts, and my direct issue material. That's basically it. It's as simple as that. Now I want to save my record. My work order is now saved with my job plan, which cannot be changed here anymore and I can proceed with my scheduling and execution. That's it for the job plans in work orders. If you have any questions, please add a comment below. If you like our channel, please subscribe, click on the little bell, and you will receive notifications twice a week, every Tuesday and Thursday, with new videos in English in this channel and in Portuguese in the Maximum Con Brazilian channel. Thank you very much and see you later.